Alright, so this is what I thought on the last video. So if you have not watched this tutorial, go ahead and watch it. I almost covered all the physics settings and in today's class we will be covering bone dynamics. So first thing I thought, okay, I will use this on a grass. So you can draw grass like this and then apply bones to each of these but I would like to create on separate layers so that it's much more better that way so just create just creating one like this and then I'm just going to create one more longer one also maybe one more on a different direction now if you want you can complete it I didn't complete so I would like to put these on separate layers so select one and cut it create a new vector layer and just paste it which is going to be control V do the same thing for the other one now I have them on separate layers I'm also going to just put them side by side so that it will be looking more like a grass now like usual let's convert this to a bone group now I'm just going to go ahead and add some bones so let's start here and maybe I thought I would give three I'll give three bones the more you increase the more the grasses will rotate properly yeah I'm just going to add four itself just four is fine for me now before you create another one here make sure this is deselected and now create another four okay now let's talk about binding for this now you cannot do just a normal bind bind layer method this method you cannot do it because there are many bones for a single grass that's why and also this is also a good option point binding but to it's possible yeah but to, for this the easiest method is the flexi binding which is the default one which is the one that is already applied without doing anything and one more thing that you have to do is specifically assign these four bones to this particular grass to do that you simply select only those four bones and make sure you are selecting that layer as well and then press link bones and do the same thing for other two as well see while these bones and this piece is selected now i can press link bone all right so i have done it for all these three now to apply physics or you can say dynamics to all of these bones you first have to select all these bones you can of course select one let's say i am selecting this point now you can go to bone constraints and add that angle to it see when the angle angle is switched on the wind will switch on it is ready now you can enable wind that means only this one is going to get reacted to the wind so now let's if i press play as you can see only that bone is getting reacted to the wind so this is more of a realistic way to do rather than selecting all the bones at the bottom and if, if i can do that if i select all and if i enable the angle and the wind and now when i press play this is what we are going to get this is a really cool very nice but keep in mind it will be more better than this if you add even more bones like additionally just one is also okay fine if you want that ultra perfect detailing but keep in mind when you scrub through like this it will some most of the time it will break okay so remember to properly see now it's working because it's kind of like baked because here to here it's already loaded so it's remembering all those steps and it is not breaking but if you do any of these change any of the change for these numbers and then when you scrub through it is not going to work properly and then remember to go back to frame zero and then press play to record or to put all of those in memory now notice how the last part here this part here at the bottom is moving realistically speaking those won't move so because they are glued to the ground therefore let's undo all of this i'm just going to select only the ones at the top and i'm going to enable that angle and the wind now as you can see this is much better but the best part about this the ones at the bottom is also moving but they are moving in a very realistic way now let's talk about torque so if you have a higher torque value that means all of those bones are the angles we can say angles are going to get rotated very much more when you have a higher torque all right now to talk about torque you need to first learn to control so in order to talk to work properly right now it won't work no matter what number you put here because we are controlling the wind so the torque 
will mostly get applied this will get into function when we do some movement to the grass that i will do and show in a while but for now let's talk about this button it's a force or you can see that wind icon once you enable it once you play you can really see in which direction the wind is hitting so it's mainly towards the right side but you can put it to the up now it doesn't move much because the wind is coming from the bottom I think this is really cool too but you can put the other way around and it breaks a little bit this one you can fix it by adding more points there it will get fixed or now you can put it to the bottom and you get a different feel like this all right now here's the strength but keep in mind like if i'm paused here now if i put this to like 50 now you can see the strength is reducing the more i go it goes back to that 20 and here it is all the way 50 so as you can see when i do this this number changes so if you want this to get applied universally to all remember you go to that zero and then now do it like 100 i think 100 will be way too much yeah look at that look at that line in that line visually indicates the strength and it is too much and we get something like this so now it is very much unrealistic you can give it to like 30 or something and remember i should have done it while i'm at 30 i mean zero and now when i put to 30 it just increases so now in order for these three to work you need some movement so to create that movement i'm just going to go here i'm going to select this transform layer tool now i'm able to move the entire thing so while at zero i'm going to put it to this side maybe while i'm at let's say 30 i'm just going to move the whole thing here and most importantly remember to switch off that wind and now angle is enabled now when you play you get something like this and see how the springiness works for a very long time that we can fix it easily but this is what we get i'm also going to increase the speed a little bit all right so now when i'm at zero and this is what i get all right now i'm just going to put that talk to zero and what did i tell you earlier that more talk means more it rotates but right now there is no talk at all it is almost it is at zero therefore now when we play the angles are not going to rotate or do anything so now let's say one now when i just play it just rotates a little bit what if you want more of these so such as five now the angle right it is going to rotate a lot more each of these bones as you can see a very lot more it just rotates a very lot more and here too it shakes a lot because of that torque so keep in mind if if you want to control the the rotation of each of these bones then torque it is i'm just going to put it to one now let's talk about spring so when you reduce the spring it doesn't spring a lot but if you increase the spring it will spring a lot so right now i'm talking about this okay it's going left right left right left right that's what i'm talking about right let's say you want to increase that so now you just have to just increase this number let's say 10 okay now as you can see it's a lot faster because i have increased that number because now it goes left right left right so quickly because i have increased that so maybe if i want it to be a lot swinging left and right then of course i can reduce this number for a very low number then you can see it wiggles a lot and i can even go let's say 0.1 and now if i play you can see yeah i get something like this it's so springy it's like a huge spring springs a lot so i don't want that how about 0.5 i think even this will be too much but that's fine see it just springs left right a lot if you want it to like vibrate too much or feel like it is springing a lot quicker left right left right like that then you know what to do increase the springiness i'm just going to put it to like let's say one yeah i kind of like one now this one i'm going to increase this to a thousand and we'll see when it is going to stop okay now i'm going to play it is moving moving still it's rotating and slowly it's coming to an end and still it's going and somewhere here it is going to stop let's say it stopped here notice how long it took to stop from there till here it took a long time to stop so what if you want to spring and now stop maybe here itself then you have the damping damping is to control these effects especially the springiness now here you can see the more higher you give it stops quickly so here 
all right so let's go ahead and increase that number right so i want it to stop quickly then i'm just going to try with five at first now go to zero and see it's more better now now look at this now yeah it's if it's real leaves of course it will swing a lot more so i think i will i will have to reduce this but but i'm just showing you i will just put it to 10 and see it's very unrealistic seems like just play and see how it goes it looks like a very hard rubber right so now i want it to be almost like let's say two and now if i play yeah this is not bad at all but i think i can increase this one more to let's say three i think three will be the perfect number yeah this is more realistic and and see it just this is what i like a lot now for the last one the weight 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 is like the weight of the product of the object right now this is the weight of the object to control the strength of all of this the more you increase the more all of this will be reduced or controlled so here let's say i'm just giving five and now when i play you can see it swings a lot because of that weight okay now the heavier the object it's heavy and because all those springs here we cannot say springs all of these bones are heavier it is much more wobbling like in real life like look at this now i'm just going to give it 10 and see it gives that heavy feeling so it's lot it just feels heavier all right so the more i give less the weight the lesser it is the effects are controlled okay so the, you reduce if you reduce the weight all of this will be less powerful and the more you increase the weight most of these will be much more powerful now in order to really understand the weight i will have to draw and show you all right so think of it like a spring like this okay and let's say at the top of the spring you're keeping a very heavy object and you're attaching to the spring and if you just shake it this spring will shake a lot right will, will go down it will almost touch the ground it will go to the other side if you give a huge push but if you try to keep a very very less object and if you give the same push this spring is not going to wobble much left and right it's not going to go much right because of this weight is so lightweight that's the reason same thing that is exactly how the weight works here so the more you increase this like 20 and now when i play notice how it just wobbles a lot more like it has a lot of those weight and now now it just so slow but if you increase that springiness it will be a lot quicker now i'm just going to disable the angle and enable position this is not a good example to learn position but you will see that the bones will all at the same time will move left and right so when i now play as you can see this is exactly what we get you get a feeling like this like it just goes left right and that you can increase using these numbers so i'm just putting this to like 10 okay and the more higher the torque is the more higher you can see the more higher it this time it doesn't rotate this time it just moves left and right now as you can see if i play you get an effect like this that moves left and right but even for the bottom bones i should have given that position so it doesn't get stretched at first like that because these ones are fixed they don't have any of those you can see it goes left and right like that now i don't have to talk about springiness damping and the weight you already know what they are so let's switch off the position and go to scale the scale will try to make each bones bigger and smaller so now when i play this is what i get notice how it just goes back front back front and this one let's say i want this to be more and then you know what to do increase that torque and then when you play it is a lot obvious but i don't like the way how it is coming from the left so what i can do is i can make sure that all of this group maybe it get pushed up and now it's more obvious what's happening here now that's too much how about now see you get something like this when i play you get something like this so this is my channel i make moho videos so far i have done almost all the videos for beginners so if you are a beginner go ahead and watch all of these interesting videos and don't forget to subscribe and like this video